There Whoa. you go, Johnny. <laughs> what a way to redeem yourself after round three. Talk about mental toughness, Joey. Yeah. Having a big miss in round three. He was visibly upset, but regrouping, coming up on the tower and doing his biggest dive, his best, coming back for a strong finish in this final round. That's huge, Joey. Not easy to do. Yeah, overcoming adversity is key. And like with Gary Hunt as well, you know, having the, the problems with the twist and overcoming that. But what a way to finish the season, finish the competition. A superb rip entry. We call him the Rip Master, and that's for a reason. He's so consistent. I'd have to say, perhaps one of the most consistent divers we've got in the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. Coming out there, there's the twist, then re-piking the middle. So that was a very interesting way to attempt the dive. So some athletes will perform the somersaults at the beginning, two somersaults like Gary used to do, and the third somersault doing one twist. The great stuff. Look how calm he is when he takes off on the platform. A bit like Greg Luganis, he would never be too tense on the platform. He knew what muscles to use when he's in the air. So when you see him standing on the platform, he's cool and calm. Use the right muscles at the right time. His face doesn't look strained. He looks cool and calm and collected, even at that point right there. Exactly, Joey. Such a cool thing to see Joey grow through the series. We came on the series together in 2012, and it's so seeing, awesome to see him develop, winning the series last year. And look at those scores for the final Wow, dive. nines and a 10 on the left-hand side by head judge Claudio Domiro. He loves it. 